Good Sample Beach House. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most corrupt show on the internet. My name is Riley, and as always, I'm joined by my elusive co-host, Graydon. Today we're setting a bad example. This is <laughs> Guess, Guess the, the popular, popular Rap Song from the Sample. All right, if you haven't seen the other episodes, this is how it's gonna work. DJ Grant's gonna play us a song or a sound, and we're gonna have to guess which popular rap song it's sampled in. One point for each one we get right. Me versus Graydon versus you, Mara from the UP. Oh, you're a youper, huh? <laughs> All right, before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more, go to HiveMindTV.com and check out our merch, and also consider joining our Patreon. It's only $5 a month, it's the best way to support us. We love everybody who does. Come on, Grant. First First one. Give me some ganja! Oh, yeah. Give me some ganja! Is he saying, give me some ganja? Yeah. I never noticed that. I know what this is from, but I never noticed that he was saying, give me some ganja. See, I would be shocked if you got this one wrong for many reasons. I'd be shocked if you got any right today. Really? Yeah. If I'm gonna get this one right, I know I'd, it. I'd be shocked. <laughs> you did not bring it today. What are you talking, we just started. We had to drag you into the studio. I always get points in the games. We had to drag you in here today. You were so hungover, <laughs> it was so out of character. It's not true. <laughs> Three, two, one. DNA, Kendrick right. Lamar. That's what I put. It is DNA by Kendrick Lamar. Yep. Wow. You forgot the period after where you don't get a point. I forgot the huh now. There's a period after all of the song titles on Damn. Give me some ganja. It's from Mary Jane. Mary Jane? By Rick James. Oh, okay. Do you love me, Mary Jane? <laughs> oh, I know that song. <laughs> do you, 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 do you not think you love me, Mary Jane? Yeah, it's a great song. <laughs> you ever seen Snatch? <laughs> the Guy oh. Ritchie movie? Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I haven't. I haven't seen that movie. Yeah. Don Cheadle in it says, Ganja, uh, or Ganja. Oh, okay. Yeah. Come on, G-Money. It's already over. Yay, you did it. Big girl, big girl, see? Oh, I know this one. Is this DMX? Yes. Yes. Okay. This is DMX with on his a slingshot ride with his daughter. Wow, his voice is really one of a kind. Yeah. Imagine him like reading bedtime stories. Good night, Moon! <laughs> <laughs> What's another bedtime story? I don't know. My parents never read me shit. They sang me like, Somewhere over the rainbow. Somewhere <laughs> over the rainbow! <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Under Pressure by Logic. <laughs> I put Keep My Spirit Alive by Kanye. I know it's the last track on Donda. This is Life of the Party by Kanye and Andre 3K. Uh, it's on the Deluxe. Is that the last on Deluxe? Uh, See, the problem is I spent no time with the Deluxe. See? It's already over! Yay! You did it! Big girl! The outro. Yeah. Mm. See, that's the thing. I never listen to the end of songs. Oh, you're, all, you're kind of an early quitter. Well, I'm just afraid of the end. Because I don't know what's going to happen. Like, is there an afterlife? Is it, like, reincarnation? You just never really know what's going to happen. Can so. you shut up about this stuff? <laughs> oh, can I just hear it again? I just want to hear it again. What is that laugh? <laughs> it's very staccato. I like it. Oh, that, that sounded nice. Let's hear it again. That's my G spot. <laughs> I never, I didn't even know I had one, but that, that's it. We found it after all these years. We, we didn't find it. We, we found it. Oh, I, I had nothing to do with it. I had nothing to do with well, finding Grant it. Grant helped find right. it. Right, well. Grant found it. Yeah. You know the song this is from? Easily. Wow, that's awesome. It's I just probably, started rapping. It's probably a great song. It's a good song, yeah. Yeah. 3, 2, 1. 2010, Earl Sweatshirt. That's what I put. It's 2010 by Earl Sweatshirt. Oh, I didn't know you had it. Well, when you said you started rapping, I was like, oh, okay, so it's not cooked into the beat, and then I like re-listened to it in my mind a few times, and I've been listening yeah. to that song a lot. So. Yeah, I'm gonna need a bigger bag for the cohort. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need that sent to me immediately. Because this is Black Noise. Yeah. Black Noise made this beat. Right. And so that is a real, that's some crate digging Detroit shit Absolutely. right there. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Huh. I'm gonna need a bigger bag for the cohort. Trying to make a millionaire out of slum dogs. That is one of my, I mean, I liked it a lot when it came out. Yeah. I like it even more now. Mm -hmm. It has just stayed with me. Now, another name for a mailbox. It's butthole, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. Why? <laughs> Why? Why would you call your mailbox that? It's mailbox. Mm, <laughs> you get it? <laughs> Listen, some of the jokes gotta be gross. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's wordplay. Just yeah. let it be what it is. That's true. By the way, I got a letter for you. No. Yeah. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Me and him? Who 
said that? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess. Ow! Ah, ow! Ah, 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 ah. Mortal Kombat. You know, if I were to start a band today, I'd call it L and the Degenerates. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Square Up by Zach Fox. I put Karma Chameleon by The Culture Club. This is Nuketown by Ski Mask the Slump called Juice World. I literally had Ski Mask the Slump God written on here and was thinking of a song to write, and then I was like, oh, but it's gotta be a fighting song, <laughs> you know? Square up. Yeah. And Kenny Beats made the beat for it, so I, I figured that's something Kenny Beats would put in a beat. Giant white dork. <laughs> a GWD, as we call them in the industry. <laughs> a GWD? Yeah. We got any GWDs who watch this? <laughs> Shout out all my GWDs out there. I mean nothing bad by it. GWDs up 100 points. <laughs> <laughs> Round one. Fight! Yo. Yo. Nuketown, a Call of Duty reference. Mmm, cod. Damn. <laughs> oh, ooh. Play one more time. I'm gonna like mime piano to it. You know what I find interesting? Hmm. That if you obey all of the traffic laws as an Uber driver, you get five stars. Mm hmm. But in GTA, it's the exact opposite. <laughs> <laughs> it really makes you think about the concept of quality, uh -huh. you know? What are we giving five stars to? And right. why does GTA have it ass backwards? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they've had it right this whole time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my Uber driver got out and beat up a pedestrian with a baseball bat. It was awesome. <laughs> He cut off an armored truck, looted it, and then got back in the car and finished the ride. Where was he hiding that rocket launcher? <laughs> <laughs> he just had it all of a sudden. I think he killed a baby. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Witch Blades by Lil Peep. I put Switchblade Cocaine by Lil Peep. <laughs> is that a song? <laughs> this is Witch Blades by Lil Peep. That's the, hook, that's the hook, though. Okay, yeah, so that's I do cool. know the song I was talking about. That is crazy, and yeah. Switch Blades, Cocaine, isn't that like yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't believe you know that. <laughs> that song gets played a lot. That is, yeah, it's a very popular one. There's two peep pants, you know what I mean? <laughs> big, big head on the beat. Switch plays, cocaine. A three days grace sample. Beautiful. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. A lot of stuff changed post 9-11, but people really get mad when I post 9-11. Yeah, <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> like the video. <laughs> They get mad when I dial it, too. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be mad when I die lit, too. <laughs> I'll be mad if I'm not with you. <laughs> Forever, baby. Forever, baby. <laughs> Ooh, 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 I know this. Oh! <laughs> oh! Whoa! <laughs> they gonna wonder how I got all this bread. <laughs> you know what I'm Go! talking? It's a sponsorship for yeah, Wonder Tax Man. Three, two, one. I put Gunna and Lil Baby, O oh, OK. I put Rap Star by Polo G. This is O oh, OK by Gunna featuring Lil Baby and Young Thug. What? Nice. That might be like the least I thought I knew it <laughs> of anyone I've ever gotten right. Like I recognized it and then I was like, what's an old song yeah. by Gunna and Lil Baby? What are you doing? Oh, my bad. So you got lost there? Yeah, I kind of got lost. <laughs> yeah. I know the original song, Beach House. Man, I don't know what samples this. Right as it started, I thought I heard something familiar, but it might just be that that song's familiar to me. Boop, 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 boop. Three, two, one. I put LSD, ASAP Rocky. Tequila Shots by Kid Cudi. This is Summer by BK the Ruler. Oh, that interesting. I can hear it now. Yeah. Wow, we literally reacted to that song on the channel and everything, yeah. and I never noticed that it sampled Beach House. How about that? Everything's bad. What a great song. If you don't know that song, by the way, if you don't know that artist, please check out BK The Rula. She's awesome, one of the best artists coming up right now. Grant, drop another doozy on me. Before we get into the next one, by the way, don't, there's, I know there's been a lot of comments about your knees recently. And just like, don't, don't worry about it, okay? Knobby knees aren't that big of a deal, and just because you could hang a coat or a shirt on either one of them, and it would work as a coat rack, it would function that way because they protrude so much, doesn't mean that you're lesser than, doesn't mean you should be self-conscious about it. I'm not. Yeah, okay. But you keep bringing it up. Well, I mean, the comment section brings it up, and I just wanna make sure it's not getting to your mental, you know what I mean? It's not. Just because when you're walking towards a wall, your knees would hit the wall before the bill of your cap would, does yeah. not mean that you should be 
exiled from society just because I had to have my pastor install cup holders at my pew at church so I could properly praise the Lord Mm -hmm. doesn't mean that I'm some freak outcast. Just because your tailor had to specifically make pants for you that fit your knees, once again, doesn't mean that you should get any hate thrown your way. If anything, you're special. Thanks, man. That means a lot. I just want to make sure that the comment section's not getting to you. Again, it's not, and I kind of appreciate it if you just didn't bring it up. Sure. Part of running a YouTube channel is looking out for the wants and needs of your (laughs) co-host. Thanks. Fuckers in school telling me always in a barber shop. Cheeky ain't about this. Cheeky ain't about that. My boy a BD on fucking Lamron and them. A classic. Absolute classic. Similar to the conversations I have in the barber shop as well. Really? Yeah, for sure. I try to strike up that conversation verbatim, actually. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I go to sports clips. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, and I just talk hoops. Sports clips? Yeah, I love it. They give you the hot <laughs> towel, and there's like a girl dressed up as a referee. Finally, <laughs> they've marketed a barber shop to men. <laughs> 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 Three, two, one. Love Sosa. Love Sosa. This is Love Sosa by Chief Keith. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Easy money. Uh, I was thinking about this earlier. It is weird that Chief Keef made an album called Finally Rich mm-hmm. at the age of 16. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. I really thought it would happen when I was 11 or 12. And all these years later, I'm finally rich. Yeah. All right, let's hear a little bit of Love Sosa. So you're basically the same thing yeah. because we only can play a little bit of it. Fuckers in school telling me always in a barber shop. Chief Keef ain't about this. Chief ain't about that. <laughs> just, just a little synth. <laughs> just a little synth under it. Same thing. Have you listened to the new Chief Keef album at all? Yeah, I've been listening to it a bunch. I was listening to it today. It is, yeah, it's one of the best Chief Keef albums I've heard in a long time. Interesting. Mm -hmm. What's Up is my favorite off there right now. I kind of had a feeling like he was kind of teed up for a resurgence of sorts. Like there's been enough mimicry and like... Oh yeah, he's the most influential. He's often brought up in those conversations of the most influential of the last decade Mm -hmm. and never really had that resurgence like big hits since the dawn of Chief Keef. And these ones feel like they might not get there, but it's Definitely some like, you're gonna hear these more often than the past couple years of Chief Keef. Yeah. Oh, I know that one too. Man, this one is hard. This one makes you wanna sing out, like immediately. That's yeah. how I felt. Like I heard it and was like, oh shit. All right, three, two, one. Uh, Seasons Carry Me by Anderson Pack. I put Put Me Through by Anderson Pack. Yes, this is Season slash Carry Me by Anderson Pack. Yes! I was one track off, I think. Oh <laughs> my gosh. That's crazy, you get a Malibu one right. I know, I, do. I know. <laughs> right away, I was like, Strawberry Season! Yeah, <laughs> okay. The sweetheart is coming around. Ain't shit change with the bank statements. Spent the summer in the wave with the beach babies. Threw your chula in the buggy. Love that album. That's my favorite Anderson Pack to date. Made it on a MacBook. Did he? Yeah. He made that album on a MacBook? Yeah. Whoa, I didn't know that. That's crazy. Yeah. Man, he's just like me. <laughs> Dude, that's what I'm saying! <laughs> uh, to preface this next one, it's a weird vocal interpolation. Okay. Understood. I'm on a plane. I can't complain. Cause I I love that song. Yes. On a Plane by Nirvana off Nevermind. Uh, you've got the Dave Grohl vocals in the background. Uh-huh. The first time that Dave Grohl vocals appear on a Nirvana song really? is on On a Plane. I, I believe so. Our friend just met Dave Grohl. Yeah, that's true. Said he smelled really nice. He's a goofy guy. I was watching <laughs> I was watching his Jesus and Miro, and I was very surprised at how goofy Dave Grohl was. Yeah. You always just picture guys from the 90s, especially from the grunge era, to be mysterious and dark in some way. Cool. And he is like a full-on dad, giggling and being like, Oh man, I met little Richard. It was awesome, man. It was so cool. Like, like he's just a geek, yeah. you know? Three, two, one. Solo Dolo 3 by Kid Cudi. I put Madam Rhythm by Drake. This is Switching Lanes by Pierre Bourne. Oh. Whoa, I almost thought, I thought Pierre for a minute. That's, That's so odd. So wait a minute, so how does this go? Man, I'm on a plane. Yeah. Man, I can't complain. Yo, first class game. Yeah. So much money game. Oh, okay, so he doesn't just say, and I'm on a plane. Right. He says, and I'm on a plane, I can't complain. That's interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. That Dave Grohl's sucking money out of Pierre's pockets <laughs> just for him saying he's on a plane and he can't complain. <laughs> to me, this is where like music and law, like, this gets a little muddy. Oh, totally. Should we really be giving Dave Grohl more money for Pierre saying that? I don't think it's going to Dave Grohl. You think it's going to the big fat fuck cats up top? I think it's going to the baby, the swimming baby. With the money? <laughs> that kid's a money-hungry pig. It has been since the beginning. He's, ch- he's in the pool chasing the dollar and then look at him. <laughs> cool, cool, cat, cat. <laughs> he's wanted money the whole time. <laughs> Thank you.
Gotta be a Piper Pop song. What is this, like Mario Sunshine or something? <laughs> it sounds very aquatic, very like watery. Three, two, one. I put Obedient by Blade. I put Peroxide by Echo 2K. This is Legendary Member by Tie Boy Digital, Blade, Echo 2K, and Young Lee. Ah, oh, Legendary Member. Drain, we were draining. Well, yeah, we knew it sounded drain <laughs> game, but I just couldn't, oh man. Because I originally had Wrist Cry by Blade written mm -hmm. down, and then I was like, wait a minute, it could be Obedient, I don't know. Welcome to my world, everything's crazy. Had you in my arms, take care of my baby, riding in the egg. I moved a bunch of weight my first year in college. Yeah? The freshman 15, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of ominous. This is a Metroid Prime sample. See, I had Metroid as a kid, but I couldn't afford Metroid Prime. Oh. Yeah, it was like ten ninety nine a month, and just you know, my mom wasn't having it. So. Mm -hmm. Now, which came first, the visor or the hat? <laughs> the hat, right? You're right. So I was thinking about that earlier. Like, is there any more reduction we can do to create a new item? Well, you we know? have a headband, right? Well, there's a headband, so uh -huh. it's like the beanie without the, you know what I mean, without yeah. the top. We got those socks that people wear that go over the shoes. That's like socks without the bottom of them. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. We have those. We have crop tops. Mm -hmm. We have shorts. I'm assuming pants came first. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we have glasses, we have the monocle. We have Bill Belichick's sweatshirts. Yeah, the cutoffs. <laughs> Man, I think we've done it all. Uh, toeless shoes, uh, sandals. Shit. Sandals. <laughs> it's crazy. Slides. We're, we've done it all, really. Is really? there anything left? Yeah, I don't know. Three, two, one. I put ULT by Denzel Curry. I put 99 till infinity, Joey Badass. This is Love Scars by Trippy Red. How about that? Oh, really? Oh. I didn't know there was a sample. Yeah, wow. Let's I didn't. hear it. That's good. That is good. I can't believe I didn't recognize it. Yeah. Very recognizable once I heard it. But. See, I always start songs like 30 seconds in. Oh, really? Yeah, I hate the beginnings of things. I hate the beginnings of relationships, movies, the newspaper. One thing that is real about you that I think would shock our audience and shock any normal person is you used to read the plots of movies on Wikipedia until the last paragraph and then watch the last 20 minutes of the movie. I still do that. That's absolutely insane. Yeah, I can actually mask Parade as kind of an art snob. Honestly. You have so much extra time, too. Exactly. <laughs> I can watch Family Guy. <laughs> you don't some... want to skip those. No. Okay? Yeah. Every detail is important. <laughs> you want every callback that Seth MacFarlane makes. It kind of keeps my comedic chops sharp. <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> you know I that mean, original? What's the original called? I Can't Keep Forgetting. I Can't I, Keep Forgetting. I Can't Keep Forgetting by Michael McDonald. Yeah. Oh. I can't keep forgetting my love anymore. Ooh, why is I just, I was just singing in my head something that was not that. Right. So that, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, oh, oh. My lord. Oh. <laughs> hey, whoa. <laughs> LBC. <laughs> oh my god, I had to like a, I had to take like a trip around like a haunted mansion in my mind to find the name of that song. I was singing every lyric and then yeah. I finally got there, but holy god. Yeah. Three, two, one. Regulate Warren G. Regulate Warren G. This is Regulate by <laughs> Warren G. Wow, what Regulator! a pick. <laughs> what a pick. You smoke like that smoke. And you high like, like every day. Just hit the east side of the LBC. On a mission trying to find Mr. Warren G. Seen a car full of girls. Ain't no need to tweak. Brings me back to graduate school. Oh my gosh. Right. When that song came out. Woo! <laughs> rhythm is life. And life is rhythm. <laughs> All right. Last one. Let's do it. <laughs> Well, we got Gucci Mane's My Kitchen mm -hmm. is being sampled here. And I believe what we're referencing is an interpolation mm -hmm. and not a sample, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm, okay. A very new song sampling, now a very old song, yeah. which is so weird to think about. Like, this is from, like, the mid-2000s. Yeah. This is damn near 20 years old. This is damn near Warren G sampling Michael McDonald. Uh, like, right. I Keep Forgetting came out in, like, maybe 78 at the earliest. Right. And Warren G came out maybe probably 91. Right, too, so right. it's not that far apart, which yeah. is weird to think about. Yeah, it is getting to that space now where hip hop's been around for a very, very long time. And we can have hip hop sampling hip hop that is just as old as like Blue Eyed Soul being sampled by 90s street rap. And you can have an artist right now who is still on their come up and sampling an artist who, yes, that song is old, but is a contemporary. Right, exactly. Like that artist is putting out music yeah. that everybody knows right now. Yeah. But 15 years ago, put out. Mm -hmm. A 
song that a then classic. is a classic and it, it worked into this new music. That is that is a beautiful thing. It is because we really never is. we'd never see Michael McDonald as a contemporary to Warren G. Not at all. Even though they made great music at the same time, but now it's very much intertwined. Three, two, one. Smino, I deserve. Smino, I deserve. This is I deserve by Smino. Yes. Oh. Good to end on a good note. Yeah. And a song that we love. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes when I get like this. <laughs> My stove lit my blunt for me this morning. One of the best songs of 2021. If you slept on it, don't sleep any longer. Yeah, don't. And with that, Happy New Year, guys. This is the first Hive Mind video of 2022. We put out 125 videos last year. We're shooting for even more in 2022. So thank you guys for sticking with us. Other than that, like the video, subscribe, all that stuff I said at the beginning. And Graydon, leave these people with some wonderful advice to leave or live their lives by the first of 2022. No problem. True genius is the recovery of child Childhood at will. All right, all right this has been I'm on TV. We love you. We appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>